I personally think that this is going to be a really cool build. What I say to you guys is please let there be light, my friends. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my fellow YouTubians. This is Pool Shark Wizard, and today we are going to be uh, playing around with some uh, redstone lanterns. Uh, this is, it must be dark time out or nighttime out right now because this ring is lit up. Let's look at our clock, and sure enough, it is. So as soon as we take a nap here, those that ring of light should turn off. So let's uh, just take a quick look, take a quick nap here. And when we wake up, we should be able to see, I always run off the backside of that. Uh, these should turn off very shortly now. It uh, usually takes a little while, but it's definitely cool. I've hooked up a day-night light switch to this, and it's uh, it's definitely cool. It's a, it's a light sensor, and it is um, really neat, really neat. Um, I did some vertical wiring coming um, basically all the way down from the surface into this ring here. So it's uh, definitely cool. I'm going to swing. There we go. It just switched off, as you guys can see. Um, it usually takes, when it turns night, it usually takes a couple minutes for it to, to for the lights to actually turn on. And then also, once it's daytime, it takes a little while as well. So we'll just uh, run up to the surface, and I can show you guys um, kind of how I have this set up. And then I'm going to cruise over to our creative world, and I'm going to show you guys how this is actually uh, created. It's pretty simple to do. It's pretty neat. Um, I think it's a cool cosmetic thing. Um, it's not required by any means, but as you guys can see, I have them running all around the place here. Um, I've also made a little bit of a bridge right here going across to our tree farm, so I'll probably carry this signal over to there as well. And all these uh, redstone lamps that are in the floor um, also light up. So it's definitely cool when it turns nighttime for those things to light up and this is pretty much the center that we have uh, set up so let's swing over to our creative world and i will show you guys how this thing is made hang tight see you soon hey guys we are back and we are building this light sensor right now um, what you want to do here for the first step is you want to dig yourself a hole that is one two three four five across by one two three four five six so a six by five hole and you want to have it go five blocks down so there's one two three four five right there now to uh, start this out we're just gonna do a couple of rows of just a uh, regular cobblestone or what have you um, and then from here uh, we can f we can throw down um, I believe all these blocks are good to throw around the outside um, so I'm gonna kind of do it a step sort of do it like a step by step um, I learned this I saw this video from um, the name is Joe Daviot I think I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not but um, I saw it on his channel and I will for sure leave the link in the description because it's not my original idea um, and what we want to do here is we want to be sure to have um, glass or not glass but uh, grass blocks right so you need to have the grass um, because that's what is going to grow if you guys don't have uh, the if you guys just have the dirt blocks you guys could grow the grass to get down to these blocks or if you had a silk touch um, you could actually grab uh, grass blocks and bring them down as well so for the uh, first level here we're just going to throw this uh, block right there so you have this one two three one two three so a three by three uh, square of uh, grass blocks throw one block right here and you want to throw down a lever right here and uh, two pieces of redstone so there's one there's two and turn that on um, now the next step that we're gonna do here is we're gonna throw a sticky piston right back behind this block so um, with that you can throw down your next grass block right there and that is going to basically be our switch so that's going to turn the signal on and off for the uh, light sensor to turn on and off so we then at this point we can fill in the rest of this with uh, cobblestone going around the outside again like so and fill this in here and then um, I'm going to find out what the next step is as I take a nap here 
And then we'll be uh, right back in a moment, guys. Hang tight. And I'll hey, see guys, you. we are back. And to top this uh, level off, we're just going to throw down a redstone torch right there. So we have a redstone torch right here, the lever, the two pieces of redstone. And then on top of this part, we can then uh, continue building with the glass uh, blocks right above there. So I just threw that down as a placement. And we can carry the uh, grass blocks around once again. Um, as I mentioned, you do need to use the grass blocks, otherwise this thing is not going to work properly. So uh, with that in mind, we can then take a piece of glass, throw the piece of glass on top of the piston, and then also a piece of glass right above this piece of redstone. Um, you can know uh, how, how correct it is by making sure that the glass is above the uh, redstone right there and we can continue uh, filling in the rest of this with the uh, cobblestone it, 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 sh it has to be stone I believe as well so um, yes that um, I hopefully this is helping be sure to leave me um, some questions guys if you if you have questions or you need some more clarity on uh, this setup so I'm gonna take a quick break here and make sure that I do the next step correctly so hang tight. hey guys we are back and um, so we have this level down uh, the next thing that we want to do is right in front of this uh, glass block here um, we're gonna take out this piece of cobblestone right here and we're gonna throw down a redstone torch right there and if it's hooked up correctly this redstone torch should now be uh, turned off um, from from that point we can continue um, we throw down uh, water right here right in between the two glass blocks um, and the grass is right below it there so uh, yes the next step that we're gonna do here is we are gonna throw down uh, more cobblestone around the outside uh, you do not want to cover up that piston right there um, not uh, because we are using uh, cobblestone so uh, we'll just cover that torch up and um, on this side we can then uh, throw these pieces of cobblestone right on top of this grass it just tends to work a little bit better that way and then I believe the uh, next step that we do is we knock this block out hey guys we are back and sorry about all the cuts um, I wanted to make sure that I'm doing this properly. I was laying down this redstone here and I was correct. I was just missing this uh, redstone torch right there. So that's how this level goes. Now before we fill in the very top level here, uh, basically what we want to do is we want to go in here and find where we have this uh, torch. I'm just going to clear out all this uh, dirt right here for the time being. Where we placed this torch earlier um, on the dirt block facing outwards. Uh, we want to find that and this is going to be basically our uh, lead light going out. So I'm going to throw down a couple of more pieces of uh, block right there and then we can finish with the uh, very top side here. So uh, what we want to do next is throw down a couple of pieces of glass block just like that and then we can fill in the very top with the uh, grass blocks and um, it should uh, cover up everything nicely and the only thing that you want uh, really in view is going to be that the uh, glass that looks right down on the piston so that's going to act as our switch basically and then we can uh, top this off right there and we can fill this in so now what we want to do is we want to switch the signal so um, for switching the signal you can throw down this uh, piece of uh, a redstone torch right there and then you can take the uh, power out so that basically um, pretty much makes it f so you can actually see um, kind of kind of see where the lead wire is going to be and uh, one of the things that I like to do on here is I like using the um, the repeaters the reason I like using the repeaters is because I can show you by throwing those levers out I will throw down a repeater right in here because when you throw a repeater into a block then you can basically keep on carrying on the uh, redstone signal 
like that so in line when you're setting up all your lanterns you can have that there and then we will throw a torch right on top of here and then right on top of the torch is basically going to be just a regular block uh, that should be on the surface like so and I'm just gonna cover this up so you guys can kinda see uh, what I'm talking about so when you have your your surface showing um, it'll light this up and we'll bring down our redstone lanterns and we can remove the water for now because we don't need that currently and then we can throw down the lantern right on top of there and then you know when you're continuing on you could throw down another one out here if you'd like um, we'll go yeah I think that makes it pretty level I'm just gonna go up a couple of more blocks here just so we have a couple couple of them showing so you guys can get an idea of what they look like so we'll throw this down we can throw down our repeater again into this block oops wrong way throw a repeater right here if I can get out of the way there we go and then another redstone torch on top of there and then a block with the lantern on top of that so I'm just gonna fill the rest of this in so it's kind of show kind of has the uh, buried the buried line if you will and of course you know you can step this thing up you can um, have it go down whichever way that you would like um, it's totally up to you how you would like it to look so it's uh, hopefully this is helpful to you guys and then we can fill in the uh, rest of this so it just basically this is what the surface will look like when you have um, all of your lanterns hooked up and it's uh, definitely pretty cool so now let's wait for uh, nighttime and see if this thing will work so hang tight folks and I will be back once it's nighttime again hang tight hey guys we are back and because we have a whole lot of day left I'm gonna show you uh, another reason why I like using the repeaters when the repeaters actually go into the blocks um, because when like I said you can carry the power directly through the block um, if that makes sense um, but the the other added bonus to it is when you have that power going into the block I'm just gonna remove these quick when you have the power going into this block it will power going out in every single one of the directions so as if we wanna throw a Y connection in here right so you, the redstone will go directly through and carry on to our next block on this side but then you can also carry this signal in the other three directions so you know you you can basically have everything in line just checking the Sun it's still way up there so we got uh, plenty of time to show you guys um, kind of what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about and as I mentioned I hope it's definitely helpful so we're gonna set up a couple of more of these right here um, we I suppose I can have it yeah I can have it going into this block that works so I'm gonna throw down my repeater once again into this block throw down our redstone torch right on top of there and we will cover this thing up and you know just just so it shows how it just carries the signal directly through as it's all powered um, then you can throw you know your regular block right on top of those torch and then the lantern on top of there and we will also do that on this side as well bring it out a little bit more uh, throw it on our repeater if I can back up throw it on our repeater throw it on our redstone torch throw down the block on top of that like so and the lantern on top of that and then I'm, I can just fill in um, all this stuff again and you know all these lights will now basically light up once once it turns nighttime and like I mentioned at the very beginning of the video guys when it turns night it's not gonna be an immediate change it takes a little while for I think it's a cup probably I would say at least a couple of minutes I'd, I'd say at least a couple of minutes to pretty much um, to pretty much turn turn the lights on so um, it's just I can leave that alone if we want to carry on some more lanterns that way 
And because you're throwing the repeaters into those blocks, you know, you can go out in all the different directions. So right now we have four lights hooked up, which is definitely cool. And we're getting towards the night right now, so I'm going to take another quick break here, guys. And then for sure be back once it's nighttime, and then hopefully uh, we can see these lights turn on. So hang tight, folks. We'll hey, back. guys, we are back, and it's almost, uh, the sun has almost set here. So I'm actually going to uh, start recording, or I'm going to start my stopwatch once it becomes uh, nighttime. And then we're going to see how long it takes for these lights to turn on. So um, there'll probably be a break from when I start. It's not quite nighttime yet. So let's see. Uh, come on, son. Hurry up, set. And it looks like it's nighttime pretty close right now so I'm gonna start the stopwatch and I'm gonna let this go and then I'll stop the uh, stopwatch once the lights turn back on there we go guys it took about uh, 35 seconds that time around so that wasn't uh, too bad actually you probably heard me start the stopwatch and stop the stopwatch so 35 seconds, that's not too bad. That seems a lot faster than um, what it normally is because I've usually seen it take a couple of minutes for them to actually turn on, but as you guys can see, they turned on right there. So uh, that is definitely cool. Now we can uh, go take a quick nap here. Jump off the tree. We'll take a quick nap, and when we wake up from our nap, our lights should still be on or they'll be turned off, whichever. I wish I had my bed a little bit higher so um, we could see here and they're still turned on right now and they should be uh, turning off very soon um, and like I said it's not 100% sure the the amount of time that it takes from daytime to nighttime but uh, yeah it's it's definitely cool it's not a needed thing it's a pretty cool cosmetic I originally saw the idea when I was watching one of B00's videos and then from that point I started trying to find one and the tutorial that I found was from uh, Joe Daviat I think I'm not sure how you pronounce it but I will for sure leave that link in the description and uh, go from there and now the lights just turned off so yeah it's definitely cool guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this is Pool Shark Wizard guys thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it as always and I will see you guys next time. Take care and bye-bye.